Oh, hey, Brady, what do you got there? Uh, uh, j uh, uh, uh j just some bread, yeah. It, see, it, it, it smells so good. I like love bread, yeah. It's so good, right? <laughs> I love bread, too. It's so Can I have some of that? Uh, 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 uh. Sure, 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 you can, yeah, yeah, awesome, uh, sure, here, here, here you go, here you go, oh, wow, wow, Brady, this, it's like what I needed to smell like, oh, it smells so good. <laughs> wow, it's, it's pretty light, Brady. Like, I know I've been going to the gym, like I'm getting a lot stronger, but, um, Okay, stop, 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 stop. I, I, I definitely, what? like, there's like a hole in the front. I, I ate all of it already. What? Bree, there's no bread left in there. It's all empty. I'm oh. sorry. <laughs> well, did you recognize that skit? It's one of our favorites, and I hope it's one of yours as well. And we're not just here to see those. We're actually here to tell you why each part of the video actually matters. Have you ever wondered why there's this funny skit at the beginning of our videos? Well, we want to make sure we can make you laugh because if we can make you laugh, we can get you to listen to not just our funny bits, but actually the important ones as well. We want to make sure you keep your eyes open so you can actually figure out what's in the story. So we got this next skit, see what story it is. Man, I'm like just so crazy hungry right now. I'd totally use a snack. Wait. What? Where are these coming from? Ah! What? Oh! <laughs> Where are these coming? Oh my goodness! So many snacks! <laughs> Woohoo! Yes! 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 Hey, Brady, oh, well, what, what, uh, what's going uh, on here? Uh, you got me in a weird time in jail. I was just like really hungry randomly, and then all of a sudden, like these fruit snacks just fall and start falling from the sky, and like, I didn't even know what, but I, they're, they're like delicious though. Brady, that's like impossible. Fruit snacks do not fall from the sky. Oh, you're kidding me, Jared. You're just hangry, man. You're not yourself when you're hungry. Oh. Come on. Come on, Jared. Oh, Seriously. Fine. Fine. Mm. So good. Oh, you're right. Yeah. It's so good. I'm so hungry. Mmm. Mmm. Did you guys guess which video it was above? Well, it happens to be from when the Israelites were walking through the desert. And since this week is all about taking a look back on this crazy road we have been on, we're talking about how we can build up from the bottom. See, the bottom is like the beginning, the foundation. And you know what that also is in the story? The creation! And that's when God created the world and made us. Then did a bunch of other things, but he also showed us how much he loves us. Moving on, the Bible story of the part is super important because it's directly from God. So when the Bible story section arrives, it's to bring God's story to you in a fun, unique, and engaging way. So why don't we check this one out? Brady, do you like to go on road trips? Me and my family love road trips. Yes, the thing that I love about road trips is getting to see all of the things as we go, like mountains and the rivers and the creeks and the wildlife. Totally. If, if you know what, if I'm in the car for a really long road trip, it does kind of get boring after a while. It does. It totally does. All the things that seem so exciting at first just start to feel kind of like blah. Like I was going to Vancouver one time from Calgary and I was so excited for the road trip, but it turns out that after being in the car for like two hours, I was absolutely done. I didn't care about the mountains. I didn't care about the rivers and the creeks. I didn't care about the wildlife. I was just so bored. It was the worst turns out that being in the car for a really, really long time is not much fun. Have you ever felt that way before? On a road trip, maybe seeing the ocean for the first time, or on a new hike, or moving to a new house? All those adventures are absolutely thrilling and captivating, 
until they're not. After a while, things start to feel plain and we lose that sense of awe of how great creation is. Thankfully though, we've got something to help us reset. Right, so for today's story, I brought a bin full of props. So I'll try and recreate the, the part with props and you'll try and recreate it with words. Awesome, are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna share the Bible story. You're going to bring it to life with this bin of props. Okay, here we go. In the beginning, there was only God and nothing else. He was here before the beginning, starting with the heavens and the earth. God began to create. The earth was empty. And to brighten the space, God said, let there be light. Then he named the light day and the darkness night. God said it was good. Then he separated the waters. Some stayed below and some above. Then God instructed dry ground to rise up. Mountains and valleys and prairies and canyons and deserts and even the ground beneath us right now came about. The dry ground was called land and the water was called seas. Then God produced plants, flowers, bushes, vines, and trees of all kinds, some really big and others really small. God said it was good. Then God filled the universe with the sun, moon, and stars. Comets, meteors, and distant galaxies were placed farther out than our strongest telescopes can see. God set the sun to rule the day and the moon to rule the night. Next, God filled the earth with living creatures. Starting in the seas, rivers, and lakes, God placed dolphins, whales, fish, shrimp, and turtles throughout. While some were beautiful, others could be described as kind of strange. Then God placed birds high in the sky, soaring from here to there. Although many would swoop across the sky, others would run through the trees. Okay, God said it was good. Was God out of good ideas? Not a chance. God's imagination is limitless. He created by shifting his focus to livestock, creatures that move along the ground and wild animals from the tallest giraffe to the tiniest little ladybug. Again, God said it was good. Then God wanted to do something different. So far, God had used only his voice to create everything. But when it came to his final creation, God used his hands too. He formed man and woman. And to set them apart, he created them in his own image to reflect who he is. And this time, he didn't just think what he made was good. In fact, Genesis 1.31 says, it was very good. At this point, God's work was complete. God rested and enjoyed creation, his amazing work of art. Wow, creation is so crazy the second time seeing it around. There is so much time and detail put into our massive world. It's so amazing, and God really does love us. It makes me want to love him so much more. Next comes the application section of the video. This always comes with a little bit of an example or an experiment to help you understand what the story is trying to teach us. Then we add a little bit of love, and bam, application appears. This application does a great job of helping you understand the plan God has for you because he loves you. All right, here we go, guys. I got my beautiful sheet here, and I want you guys to try and guess it as, as well as you can while I'm drawing, I'm dra and then I'll tell you what it actually is at the end. All right, here, here we go, go. Dragon, dragon with mouse. It's my favorite, my favorite, favorite drawing. So cute. I love it. I love it. <laughs> now, what does it look like to follow that plan that God has for us? Well, when we build our lives on loving God, it makes following that plan super easy. Building a life on loving God changes the way we see situations. Whatever your 2021 looks like right now, whether it's moving or changing spaces, new schools or programs, even if it's the same as before, building your 2021 on loving God will help you through the, this year. So why don't you take a moment, pause, and answer these two questions. One, what can God build within you this year? And two, moving into 2021, how can loving God help you?
I think you guys know what's coming next. It's challenge time. Why do we even do challenge time? Well, we like it because of fun, obviously, and because we like to connect it to the story. So for this challenge time coming up, why don't you see if you can figure out what story this game is from. Anyways, enjoy and see you next week. Welcome to challenge time. Today we have the challenge of a lifetime. It's called Flood Skip. How do you play? Well, let me tell you. We have five solo cups all in a row here with a ping pong ball in each cup. And the only thing we have to do is uh, use the lungs that God gave us to blow the ping pong ball across to the end. And we have one minute, right? Yep, one minute. One minute to get as many balls across the flood as we possibly can, right? True, yep. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Oh, I was born ready. On your mark, get set, set go. go. No! <laughs> Not like this! What? <laughs> this is so embarrassing! Ow! <laughs> Shoot! Darn it! <laughs> okay, I gotta take this more concentrated. Oh, I inched it over! <laughs> but one's getting a little low! I think I'm dragging my beard in there. You've only got like zero, right? 20, zero. zero. Oh. Oh, like this. No, please! Yes! I think, Woo. At, I think I'm at five. Oh. Turn it. Okay, oh, no. we're over. How many did you get? I got two. You got two? Yeah. I got six. What? Whoa, wait, six. No. <laughs> there You're you go. You're kidding me. There you go. Well, Jared is the flood skip champion, <laughs> and Brady is good effort. Well done. That I was fun. I definitely did not swim. There you go. I we, sank. <laughs> we swank. Yeah. I swam, you sank. I sank, yep. All right. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for hanging out with us today, Trinity Kids. Make sure to grab your box, check out that quick activity guide and that activity. Have a great week. We'll see you next week. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, guys, this week in the box, we have some awesome shared experiences for you and your parents. So we're starting off with a hot chocolate date. So you guys will take this sheet and write and work through it during this video, hopefully. And then you're going to take this sheet and give it to your parents so they can work through their own video. And then guess what? We come together over a hot chocolate awesomeness date, and we break it down and discuss and see what we learned in the videos. And same thing, that was for our preteens, same thing for the K-3s. You guys are going to be watching the video watching, making sure you're writing and doodling, whatever you want, ask, got your questions, what, what's going on in the video. And same thing with your parents, make sure they get the card, and then guys come together for that awesome, loving, shared experience with that hot chocolate. So guys, hopefully you enjoy this box. It's gonna be fun, take care.